Did the Genesis flood of 2350 BCE happen? Not according to the evidence. If plate tectonics moved the continents to their current positions during the flood, as creationists claim, the energy released by that movement and the accompanying massive volcanic eruptions would have boiled the oceans, poisoned the atmosphere, and destroyed virtually all life on Earth. More deadly still was the far, far greater heat generated by all the known meteor impacts, hardening of lava, radioactive decay, and limestone formation creationists claim to have also taken place during the flood. The heat generated would have been the equivalent of detonating hundreds of thousands of one megaton hydrogen bombs per square mile. That's many times more energy than would be required to reduce the entire surface of the Earth to molten rock. It's only the slow release of heat over billions of years that kept the Earth from turning into a huge ball of lava. The major creationist organizations even admit that the heat issue is a serious problem for them. From the Institute of Creation Research, of greater concern to both supporters and skeptics of the RATE project is the issue of how to dispose of the tremendous quantities of heat generated by accelerated decay during the Genesis flood. The amount of heat produced by a decay rate of a million times faster than normal during the year of the flood could potentially vaporize the Earth's oceans, melt the crust, and obliterate the surface of the Earth. But it's highly telling that when faced with the hard evidence, these organizations don't conclude that the flood claim has been falsified, as scientists are supposed to do when faced with such contrary evidence. They instead abandon all scientific credibility by appealing to miracles. For example, AIG's William Warwicker stated, The only real problem is our current lack of understanding of how this was accomplished. The flood account in Genesis 6-9 through 9 does not tell us directly whether supernatural processes were involved, though it seems very likely that they were. Clinging to a false, predetermined conclusion in the face of conclusive evidence against it is the opposite of how science works. Creation science, depending on miracles, isn't science. It's fantasy.